Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So uh, in this tutorial, I just go ahead and first close this command prompt that I created in the previous tutorial. Exit and yes, the reason died. I'll just go ahead and close this. I'll delete this payload.exe as well because I need a metapeter and I'll just go ahead and okay, it's already terminated. Delete this as well. So let's go ahead and do something more at this point of time. So what I would be doing in this tutorial is that I will create a payload file and I will go ahead and change uh, its icon, its name and everything and I will send it to the victim so that it, he will think it's just a normal file. Or if I go ahead and gain access to his computer, I will replace the my computer icon with my virus file. So every time he wants to run the my computer, he will double click on my virus.exe file and he will run that. So I'll just go ahead and create, uh, let's download the, I'll uh, just go ahead and open it over here, check. First thing that you need to download would be the resource hacker. So I would prefer Google. And ask me later and resource hacker and we have it over here uh, verification version so 3.4.1 and uh, let's check which is the real one so let's check over here okay perfect let's download it Okay, I'll just save it and I'll save it on the desktop. Okay, this is from the soft tonic, I believe. We'll just close this and this. Okay, perfect. Extract all files. Let's see if this works. Perfect. So we have the resource hacker so what we would be doing is first I will assume this as my target PC as well as I will also be experimenting uh, this as my own uh, VMware workstation I am a hacker and this is my own VMware workstation I will also be assuming that as well so I will first go ahead and create my payload terminal so I will open a toolkit and I will type S-A-T-O-L-K-I-T and I will do one press social engineering attacks Fourth, creating a payload and listener and the IP address would be the same and this time we would be using the reverse interpreter attack so I'll be using the two not the one so I'll just go and hit two and enter so again backdoor executable the port would be let's uh, change the port this time 8888 and by the time this runs start the listener yes keep the listener running and file system and we have usr share set and we have our virus over here so i'll copy it to my vmware version of this over here okay i can copy it directly right now perfect so I will go ahead and right click and use it as a resource hacker. So I'll just go ahead and open my resource hacker and I'll go ahead and open and desktop uh, here's my payload. So I need to change the icon over here. So this icon is way too easy for someone to understand. So I need uh, my computer hack uh, icon. So I'll just go ahead and type download my computer icon you can download any other icon that you want I'm just downloading this icon make sure that whichever icon you use your target would be e easily um, conned by that mm. where is my computer icon this is not my computer okay I have it and then I'll download the 
I see you. I don't exactly. I have done this after a long time, so I'll just go and save it on desktop. Perfect. Now I'll minimize that. It's downloaded. Perfect. We have uh, the icon over here. I'll just go and name it as icon. I don't want a very big name. And I'll go ahead and I want to change this icon. So what I would do is I will go ahead and me check. Replace icon, I believe. Okay. I'll use this open and replace perfect and I'll save as desktop at my computer okay I believe that uh, my file was way too big the icon that's the reason I did not get a proper Okay, let's go and change this as well. No, it was the same one. Okay, yeah, that's right. So my icon was way too big, and that's the reason I, it's not detecting the icon right now. But let's just assume that you have created this icon, the same icon, by gathering the same pixel icon, and I'll just go and delete both of these. So let's assume at this point of time that this is a real uh, icon, and we will be going ahead. And this is my computer. So the person double clicks this one. And let's go to our Cal Linux and see what happens. Uh, as you can see, a payload has been started. And I'll type sessions hyphen L. There are no active sessions. Okay. I think I'll just go ahead and check my payload. Okay, I'll just go ahead and quit this and I'll open. MSF console and I will just go ahead and close the payload. Okay, I don't have the payload over here right now running. Let's check. Let's start the MSF console and then we will go ahead and run our virus. Okay, so let's see okay we have sending stage let's see if we could get our hands on it if the firewall does not detect it it will straight away go ahead and run our meter printer prompt and i will get uh, once we get our meter printer prompt we can do anything that we want let's wait and see what happens okay now i know why it was not working because it was just copying the payload that i had over here to over here that's the reason so I'll just go ahead and copy this payload and yep perfect or I'll just copy it from over here paste it here and then cut it and I will paste it over here paste copy and replace perfect now it should work let's see if it works Perfect. So as you can see, we have the interpreter first prompt opened. So let's go ahead and open see the stage, and we have it. Perfect. So once the interpreter prompt is open, we can do anything that we want. But I'll be showing you in the next tutorial, and that is it for this tutorial, guys.